Hi guys, good morning. I'm Deep Gautam. I'm full stack developer in .NET Web Technology. And uh, today I'm going to talk about one very interesting topic, which is how to pass the value from one component to another component. Or consider the case where you are having the child component and you would like to pass the value to the parent component. So some action you have performed and based on that you have got some output for from child component and you want to send that thing to parent component how you will do that so as in my normal tutorial you might have already seen that first of all i talk about theory so what is the main concept behind that how to do that so that the keyword will be clear in your mind after that i will go and show you through the code in order to speed up the things i have already inbuilt things which i will explain in the detailed manner so that you will not face any kind of problem let's start with passing the value from child to parent component Pass. Hmm. so these are the is which i have written I am sure you are not able to see this so let me increase the font size for this one and uh, let's say it's 18 yeah I hope fair enough so step to do this the first step a normal step just create two components if you are not aware about that how to create the two components please do watch my previous videos where I have explained how to create the component and how to proceed for that so just create two independent component and include those component in the module.ts in order to run those components you have to include in module.ts then third step call that child component in your starting component so it's very much similar uh, in uh, like console application where you are having a program program.cs file in that main method will be there that will be first part so here as well we are having the same kind of concept where uh, you need to call that uh, function in the main method so similarly just uh, let's say your uh, component name is input child and you are calling over there now use the parent component uh, use the input in parent component this is the important term where we are uh, so if somebody has to receive something from the child he should be notified by what way he is going to receive it so here input is the main thing by which he is going to receive it so just import the way we import component from uh, at the rate angular slash 2 we need to import the input as well so the moment we have imported an input we are flexible to perform this fifth step at the rate input function where it will accept the input name parent string parent as a string as of now it's null but whatever we will pass from the child component as the form of input it will receive over here so this is all about theory which i am talking over here let's go through the code so as i said just create two components so this app input child component and app input parent component you just create simple component suppose for time being you are having just import statement selector and the normal template so don't get confused about too much code here i have written the code about uh, like uh, some css stuff and all so you not need to get confused and at any any point of time if you want the code you just comment on my youtube video and i will be providing you the whole code itself so just create two component go to module.ts register those two components over here go to app component.ts file and call your input child component input child component is nothing but this one and input uh, parent component is nothing but this one parent receiver which i am calling selector and here inside this input child component i am using parent receiver component and now let's talk about the things so these are two components which I have initialized in module.ts and call that input child component in my main file let's go here is the important thing input which i am um, importing and here input text box is there where I am having name parent value and what is this name parent value here we are telling that this can be as a input as well so if somebody is supplying you name parent please receive it and bind it to this value other thing I am having this button click event over here 
so now let's see how we are passing name parent from there so here this is one my text box which is binding the value name parent which can be a type of at the rate input so let me go over here and this is normal div i am having here inside the div this is selector for my component input child which i have included in main method here inside the div i am calling that parent component in the parent component name parent is one property which can be sent as the input parameter so here name parent i am assigning as a ng model so for me it's a ng model and i am winding some value to that ng model but this name parent is an input over here which can be received easily so there is no much trick just you need to take care of declare that property as a input in parent component pass that property from the child component so name parent uh, component is the property in um, parent component which can be uh, form of input and here name child value I am supplying. Let's see in the action. So name child value from the child component I am supplying D and in name parent value I can change anything. So just go to your npm and uh, just run the command npm start from your folder. As you might have already known about this stuff and I have explained in my previous stuff. So this is my UI in order to demonstrate this thing. So let's say for you I am running it again. And this is the name child deep. I am supplying from the app input child component. And which is coming over here. How it is coming. Now this deep how it is coming from child to parent component by using at the rate input attribute in the parent component and assigning the value to that and uh, passing the value from the child input now let's say i i would like to change that value so i have just written simple event change into apple change into d but the moment i will initialize it will take the value from my child component so this is very practical scenario which we can use first take the value from the child component after that perform your action in the parent component itself and do the operation so I hope you have liked this video. Thanks for watching. Please uh, do like, subscribe my videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys. Have a good day. Bye.